Right said Fred, both of us together, one each side and steady as we go. Tried to shift it, couldn't even lift it. We was getting nowhere, and so we had the cup of tea. All right said Fred, give a shout to Charlie. Up comes Charlie from the floor below. After straining, even and complaining, we was getting nowhere, and so we had to cup of tea. Charlie had to think, and he thought we ought to take off all the handles and the things what held the candles, but it did no good. Well, I never thought it would. All right, said Fred, have to take the feed off. To get them feed off wouldn't take them all. Took its feet off, even took the seat off. Should have got us somewhere, but no. So Fred said, let's have another cup of tea. And we said, right on. Right, said Fred, have to take the door off. Need more room to shift the so and so. Had bad twinges taken off the hinges, and it got us nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea and right said Fred, have to take the wall down. That there wall is gonna have to go. Even with it all down, we was getting nowhere, and so we had a cup of tea. Charlie had to think, and he said, "Look, Fred, I got a sort of feeling if we remove the ceiling with a rope or two, we could drop the blighter through." All right, said Fred, climbing up the ladder with his crowbar. Trouble, oh, half a ton of rubble landed on the top of his dome. Charlie and me had another cup of tea, and then we went on. I said to Charlie, We'll just have to leave it standing there on the landing, that's all. Trouble with Fred is, he's too hasty. Never get nowhere if you're too hasty.